And welcome back to For Such a Time as This. I am your host, Pastor James Pittman. Uh, there was a pastor <coughs> in California who put up a sign that dared to use the word sin and tried to apply it to the culture. This is what he got. On a small strip of road, just outside the northern California town of Weed, stands a church posting a controversial sign saying, quote, homosexuality is still sin, end quote. And I always thought churches weren't supposed to be hateful, and this one is to me. It's hurtful. It, it's awful. When I saw the sign, it made me really sad. The sign was posted by the Trinity Bible Presbyterian Church and its pastor, Justin Hoke, as a start to the new year. However, for community members like Jeanette Mobley and her daughter, Tanya, its message struck a chord. I should be able to love my partner to hold her, to hold her hand wherever I want to go and shouldn't have people being hateful. Um, I just, I don't think that my kids should feel having two mothers is a bad thing. Protesters agreed the church and its small congregation are within their rights to believe what they want. <clears throat> churches aren't supposed to be hateful. That means churches are not to um, put their message as they see fit from the scriptures on their sign on their property in front of their church. Um, I, I don't, okay, the church can't put their sign. Now, we can debate whether or not that's the best way to witness the people, we can debate whether or not churches should do that. I personally believe that churches have a right to put their messages up and their their signposts but think about this churches don't have a right to put their message on their sign in front of their building on their property but if you have a difference of opinion you have a right to protest in front of that church here's more of what uh, the opposition to the church sign had to say Protesters agreed the church and its small congregation are within their rights to believe what they want. They just ask it to stay in the church. Keep it in your church. If it's not something hopeful for the community, if it's not loving, keep it in your church. Keep it in your house. Keep it. Don't, don't share it with everybody. Before his morning. Okay. If we don't think, according to her, if we don't think your message is hopeful and uplifting, keep it in your church. Keep it in your four walls. Don't bring it out for public consumption. Do they not realize the irony of what's going on? You can protest in front of that church who just simply put it on their sign in front of their church. You can protest, but they can keep it in your church. How about you keep your message in your living room? How about that? But, but people who are pro-LGBT, they can, they can protest wherever. But if you have a biblical view on sexuality, no, keep it in your church. We can go wherever we want, and we can protest outside of your church. We can travel, but not only can you not travel, you can't even put it out in your sign. The sad part about this, it seems as though the pastor has lost his position at the church because the congregants sided with the protesters instead of the pastor who put the sign up. Just the irony. I mean, even if you believe in the LGBTQ movement, can you not agree that, goodness, if one side can protest and take their views public, why not the other side? tell you why because I don't think people are open to fairness they're not the Word of God is not hostile and we're gonna start seeing more and more of this hats off to the pastor I'm sorry the congregation didn't side with you it is what it is we are where we are oh come Lord Jesus <laughs>